Good morning. Well, it's noon, so good afternoon, I guess. <laughs> okay, that must be Anna. Let's see. No. Okay. Okay, where's Anna? Hi, Anna. <laughs> How are you, my dear? Uh, Anna gave me for my birthday. <clears throat> uh, uh, um, an Amazon card, <laughs> which is always the right color and the right size. And she gave me uh, the most beautiful picture of Nicholas. And she, she made it like in, in canvas. It's just beautiful. So I'm, I have it right in front of my, in, in, uh, in a piece of furniture I have in front of my bed to see him first thing in the morning. Anyway, uh, how are you doing? And today we're going to talk about movies. And I really want you to tell me which movies you have seen that have inspired you on knits. And a friend told me about a movie that it's like, uh, in in the 20s, something like that, like The Great Gatsby, and movies like that. And uh, and uh, she she told me that there were beautiful lace shawls. So I have to look it up. I have really need to look it up. So Anna has several links that I sent her about shawls in movies. And they are really neat. Oh, from India, neat. What time would be there? Like nine hours. It should be about 9 p.m., 9 or 10 p.m. Wow, yeah. Just beautiful, beautiful country. Bit. Okay, thank you very much for being with us. Menu. More than 20 hours. No, see, it's noon here. So, so 10. No, it, it must be 10. Like 10.03. Mira, ahí está, sí, 10.30. But, uh, hi, Elise, how are you? Okay, so we're talking about movies. Please, please tell me. You had your baby on Monday. <gasps> Elise. Oh, congratulations. <gasps> oh, congratulations, my dear. I was wondering when I, when I was uh, fixing my hair and my face. So when is she having her baby? She should have it. Soon, 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 but wow. Thank you very much for watching and liking my projects. Oh, oh, Elise, I am so happy for you. I hope you're doing well. So last Monday, was that a week ago or was that the day before yesterday? Ah, Douglas, how are you? Elise had a baby. Elise had her baby. <laughs> Light Fury 7, is that a movie? Hi, little Brad, how are you? I am on. How are you? So, yes, congratulations, Elise. Ah, had him on the 8th. Okay, a week ago. Okay, all right. Yes, little Brad, we were missing you. Okay, congratulations, congratulations, Elise. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Every time, it's like, it's like my, uh, like my great nephew. <laughs> like, like my great nephew. Okay. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. 
I sent Anna several uh, links of shows that have been in movies. So I have been watching Outlander. It's a very well-made movie, very, very good movie. It has a lot of rough uh, scenes because it's the war. And uh, so it's a war between the English and, and the Scottish in the 18th century. It doesn't start like that. It starts like in a war uh, on the Second World War. But um, it changes. So, yeah, it's a very interesting movie. And they have a lot of nits. So a lot of people have been inspired by that movie because they have, like, caplets. She has, Claire has, like, caplets and shawls. And I'm going to show you some that, I, okay, I got inspired. So we got on Knit Creek Yarn, and this yarn is a DK. And it has a lot of wool. And I'm making a caplet, a top down caplet. So we have a caplet already. It's very, very similar to the one that she has. And I didn't even know, I hadn't even watched the movie when we made that caplet. Uh, I think it's around there. It's, there's one that's white and we made it in pink and I have worn it in, 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 in the uh, broadcast. So I like it very much. Hi, Mary. So this is going to be a top-down caplet inspired by the series on Netflix. It's called Outlander. And I, the color is magnificent. See, it's like a, like a chocolate, a soft chocolate color. It's called mousse, like mousse de chocolat. Like chocolate mousse. Okay, so I am doing this with the, their yarn, and it's it's I I that movie really inspired me a lot. They also have a shawl that you can. This is this is a shawl that is like you can put it on like so. It's folded in half. It's like the giant washcloth. And you can wash it, you can wear it like so, because it's like sleeves, you sew part of it folded in half. But also you can use it, uh, folding it like a triangle. It's a, it's a total square, a complete square, but you can fold it as a triangle. And this is the kind of shawl that is also on Outlander. And it's a very, very easy to make shawl. Very, very easy, really, I mean it. So uh, you can have something like this. Of course, they, this is not the colors that they wore in, in England or in, Sc in Scotland at that time. They wore more like neutrals, like um, beige and browns and, and so, uh, some blues, some greens but mostly like uh, browns and, and teal blues and things like that. So anyway, it's, there's this shawl. See how it is in the back? So I think we have it. We do have it online. So it's like a giant washcloth. And then they do have shawls like this. And this we also have. And this is like, it's it's almost like a triangle, but it's a soft end, see it? And you only add on the sides. There is no middle stitch. So this is very pretty also. Let me show you the other side. So this is very pretty, and this is something that they also wore. They did not wear that color, but, and there's, this is something also that they wore at that time. It's the same as the other one, but it's only all red. 
and also you add at the edges you do not add in the middle so this is all one piece and so they then came the movies like at the beginning of the century not this century the one before like in 1920s and they wore more romantic stuff something like this they wore more romantic stuff and then all the victorian ladies came to uh to you know all the victorian ladies came to and then all this is this uh triangle show was done much later but at the time of uh, outlander and the designs were like one stitch in the middle like these shows having one stitch in the middle let me see where the beginning is here it is like you see that stitch in the middle and then growing growing on the sides and and then up uh, uh an angle at the bottom or just rounded in just the rounded shawls and the colors of course they were very soft uh browns and black so were not very much used it was not a color it's, it's really not a color but uh the blacks were used not too much it was more like browns. It was dark ages. <laughs> there was no electricity to start with. So um, thank you, Elise. Thank you. So and then came all the romance stuff, like the big bows in front, like the big stuff, and and there's one that was uh, Gone with the Wind. In that movie, Gone with the Wind, and I do have something written down. Let's see. So there was, uh, there was uh, the Little Women. Little Women. Remember Beth? Beth's uh, show. It was like a, a, it was a show that was long on the sides. It was a triangle, and it was very long on the sides, and 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 it crossed in the front and you buttoned it in the back so it was buttoned it or it had you know uh knitted things that you would knot it with but usually they you know it had a button or or make two uh holes button holes at the end and pass a ribbon to tie it but that I think we're going to have to make one of those because that's on Outlander a lot, a lot, and also on Little Women. And then uh, there is a movie that is called um, "What in Her Shoes," and there's a shawl there that it's very pretty. It's it's more like a like a scarf. It's a scarf that was long, so. It just became very, very uh, popular. And then we have our I-cord poncho. And we do have that one. So, Anna, you must have it around there. And uh, so we look it up because it's called I-cord poncho. And uh, we have a lot of shows. We do. We really do. So please look them up. We have, I think these are called the summer shawls. Summer shawls. And they are very easy to make, like extremely easy to make. So please look them up. And, and shawls are the big thing now. Everybody is wearing shawls. It, it, it's different. This There are some that are called the prayer shawls now the prayer shawls are straight on all four sides they're rectangular but they're straight on all four sides and then there are the ones that end up 
being like long on the sides and the like like this one like this one so this is long on the sides i guess you could use it also like crossing it in the front and taking it to the back yeah it works okay yeah you could use this one and and hold it in the back because it's big enough so yeah you could do that and the uh, but now it's summer and Nana wants uh, to make summer shawls. Shawls that you can put over your, your bathing suit, like, like around your waist or just put it over your bathing suit when you go to the beach. And, you know, very open, very sunny looking. And she has a beautiful color, a very pretty kind of mustard yellow that she showed me yesterday. So she wants to make a summer shawl with it. And so she's knitting a lot, like a lot. She's making a beautiful shawl. She's going to finish it. She has one extra ball to work and then it'll be nice. Yes, a fair, fair aisle design. Yeah, this is, I have, a shawl that I'm making. I need to show you next time. Or maybe maybe I'll show you. No, because I don't I really don't want to leave you alone. But I will show you a fair isle design that I'm making. I'm making a shawl and it has uh, the edges or one color like the bottom and the edges are all one color and then that one color and another one is repeated throughout the shawl but the edges stay being the same color so you even if you change color in the middle the edges keep being that blue and the middle you have the blue and the off-white and in stripes and it looks very pretty because you change your yarn. So on the white parts, you still have the, the blue on the sides and you have to change it and then work the white and then change it and then work the blue and the same on the way back. So it's very interesting what I'm making and it makes people concentrate a little bit on the edges. So anyway. What is it called? Iduna's shawl. Elsa and Anna's mom wore. Oh, I have to write that down. Okay. Mm. Okay. And there's there's one that is uh, also on Little Women. Let's see where I have it written down. Anyway, Little Women has several of the shawls. Oh, okay, so there is one that is uh, a Joe's shawl. J-O apostrophe S shawl. And it's also very pretty. So there's the Little Women's Beth shawl. And it, it's crossed with a button at the back, the same as Outlander. They wore those shawls a lot because they would not fall. So since they were crossed in the front, they protected a lot from the cold, but also would not fall off because they were buttoned. So, and then we have the eye cord poncho. That doesn't go anywhere either. But, and you can put buttons if you wish. So anyway, thank you. Thank you for being with us. I tend to talk a lot. <laughs> well, I, I guess that's why I'm here. Okay, called Iduna's Shop. I need to look it up. Okay. From Frozen. Ah, okay. All right. All right. You, I don't watch as many movies as a lot of other people do, but uh, yeah. 
so uh what hi this fairy how are you doing i'm doing well i'm doing well i'm doing really well la shara okay <laughs> it's so nice to see you too fairy It is, it is. Elise has a baby. Elise has a baby. Congratulations on the eighth. So nice. Women's Day, on Women's Day, you had the baby. Very symbolic. Okay. Thank you very much for being with us. I really appreciate it. If you want something. Okay. I don't crochet so much because I have very bad arthritis on right there. And it hurts my hand the way I need to hold the hook. So I will make small projects, but larger I don't think so because I, my hand hurts. It, it it gets cramped. My hand gets cramped, and then I have to. Ooh, I'm not that young any longer. But uh, knitting is fine. Okay. Hi, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Got the first dose of vaccine. Then. Oh, right. Neat. I already have my two doses. And then on Monday, day before yesterday, was the two weeks since the last dosage. So I, you still have to take care of yourself. You still please wear the masks. And uh, please uh, wash your hands and and uh, take care of yourself anyway why is Pfizer banned in parts of Europe that's the one I got I don't I haven't heard that both doses ah Douglas I got to get the first one okay yeah I am so happy to have my two doses. I want to go see my kids. Ah, but I think that an airplane is still not there for me. I, uh, so, you're the younger here? Okay. You're the youngest? Okay. I, I know that uh, the AstraZeneca was... Uh, was banned because there it cost what is it that it well it's not that it cost it's just that several people got uh, clots uh, like blood like clots in the veins so it they don't think it has to do with the vaccine but they still stopped it and it's a good thing because if several people has one condition it's it they need to study it a little bit more so yes Thank God they're doing that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for being with us. I love this time because I get to see you all lovely people. Elise. It's on hold, yes. Well, you need to make sure that they are going to be... Uh, the president in the United States promised that everybody will have access to the vaccine in the United States uh, by May 1st. So, and I don't doubt it because they have been vaccinating a little over 2 million people a day. So, uh, I, they're, they're even thinking about vaccinating children. 
I don't know if it's necessary or not, but they, I guess they need to study it a little bit more because uh, I don't know if children have, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. I know that I, I ran to get mine and I was thrilled to get it, but with children, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for being with us and take care. And uh, you have a wonderful rest of the week. Okay, let's see what is it. I feel like I'm 25. You're 27. And no, no, no forcing people, but you know. Yes, I, th I think vaccines are a very personal choice. You decide what's best for you. And that's all I know. I'll see you, Mary. Mary, we need to get together and have a drink over at that place where we get together, the flying saucer. Yes, it is controversial, but, you know, everybody does whatever they think is best for them. I am all for vaccines, but not, I, I don't know if I feel comfortable for children, but I don't know if, if I have enough data and I feel safe, then yes, I do the vaccine stuff. But bye-bye, Elise. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next Wednesday at noon. Thank you for being with us. Love you all. Bye-bye. You don't force things to us. No. Yes, education is very important. You really need to find out what you're getting yourself to, but also your freedom is important. I will see you. Love you all. Bye-bye.